In 1912, Calvin Technical High School opened its doors for the first time in Winnipeg's South End. Designed in a Georgian Revival style, the school was built of white stone and red brick. It was named after Lord Kelvin, a famous British mathematician and physicist. Classes began on January 1, 1912. There were 775 co-ed students and 33 teachers on staff. The new school was spacious, with a large auditorium, a fully equipped science room, gymnasium, arts rooms, and a variety of shops. During World War I, Calvin's early graduates volunteered to fight overseas. Even Calvin's first principal, D.M. Duncan, answered the call of duty. In 1918, when the war ended, 527 former students had served their country. In 1919, the year of the Winnipeg General Strike, Sir Charles Goodeef graduated from Calvin. During World War II, his work was instrumental in helping the British develop an anti-submarine weapon. Goodeef also created the degaussing method to protect ships from naval mines. He remains the only Calvin student to be knighted. Marshall McLuhan graduated in 1928. After Calvin, McLuhan gained international fame for his work in the study of media theory. He foresaw the development of the internet several decades before it was invented. During the Great Depression, the Calvin student body continued to grow numerically. In 1931, there were 1,256 students at Calvin. Duff Roblin walked Calvin's halls in these days. After he graduated, Roblin became Manitoba's 14th premier. He was responsible for the construction of the Red River Floodway, which has saved Winnipeg billions of dollars. In 1939, when the Second World War began, the school once again contributed to the war effort. Calvin's slogan was carry on, and indeed it did. The girls worked tirelessly for the Red Cross and the boys participated in mandatory cadet training. Many students believed their services were of better use in uniform. In the first year of conflict, so many Calvin boys enlisted that the administration was forced to discontinue grade 12. When the war ended, 2,640 former Calvin students had served, many with Bomber Command. 225 had made the ultimate sacrifice. In the 1950s, Jerry James played on Calvin's football team. After Calvin, at 17 years old, Jerry James became the youngest player ever in the CFL. He went on to win four Grey Cups with the Blue Bombers. Amazingly, he then played six seasons in the NHL with the Toronto Maple Leafs. In 1957, largely due to student president Joy Johnson's hard work, the boys and girls of Calvin were allowed for the first time in the school's history to use mixed staircases. In 1962, at the school's 50th anniversary reunion, over 4,000 former students packed the school's auditorium for a two-hour stage show. Jay Ingram played his violin in the school's orchestra that night. Ingram went on to host CBC's Quirks and Quirks. He was also the host of the popular television show Daily Planet and the author of several best-selling books. A few years after Ingram graduated, the cornerstone for the new school was laid. During the 1960s, Kelvin High School was full of history makers, one of whom was Shirley Tilgman. She became a respected molecular biologist. In 2001, she was named Princeton University's first female president. Fred Penner also attended Kelvin during this period. He played on the school's soccer teams and played lead roles in the school's musical productions. After Kelvin, Penner gained national fame as a children's performer. He's a member of the Order of Canada. At the time, few would have predicted the reclusive Neil Young would, like Penner, one day also receive our country's highest honor for lifetime achievement. At Calvin, Young was hard to find. He didn't sing in any of the school's musicals or play on the sports teams. Once Young decided to pursue his solo music career, he left Winnipeg for Thunder Bay. Young never graduated from Calvin, but went on to become one of the most influential musicians of his generation. In over 40 years of playing music, he has produced 34 studio albums. Neil Young has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. In the mid-1970s, Gil Asper attended Calvin. 
Asper is the managing director and the secretary of the Asper Foundation, the private charity responsible for the building of the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. French immersion was implemented in 1978, and in 1981, the school's International Baccalaureate Program was adopted. In 1983, Kelvin hosted its first fashion show. Students climbed mountains on the first ever Rocky Mountain trip, flew across the Atlantic on the London-Greece-Israel trip, and with enthusiasm, joined the ski, car rally, tennis, games, judo, and cycling clubs. They performed in musicals such as Annie Get Your Gun and The Boyfriend. Mike Keane left Calvin early to play junior hockey and went on to play 16 years in the NHL. Keane is one of the only 10 players in the league's history to have won three Stanley Cups with three different teams. By the 1990s, Calvin High School was changing with the times. Mrs. Wax, an African-Canadian, was appointed Calvin's first female vice principal. A few years after, the school established its first women's issues group and its first recycling program. The first ever Human Rights Day was organized and Calvin's Charter of Rights and Responsibilities was introduced. HASTA was also formed. In 1995, about 300 grade 9 students arrived at the school. The now much larger student body continued to be engaged in school activities. Students recited verses from Hamlet at Shakespeare in the Snow, canoed, went on choir or band trips, and traveled to France and Korea. In 2003, a new addition was built on the east side of the school. Today, Calvin High School's future remains bright. In the last 15 years, the school has produced three Rhodes Scholars, Ariel Zilberman, Aaron Trachtenberg, and Melissa Bailey. All three will certainly go on to have distinguished academic careers. Scott Coe, Eddie Steele, and Donald Ora Mason Wu have recently played in the CFL. Fraser McLaren now skates for the San Jose Sharks. John K. Sampson and Stephen Carroll play with the popular band The Weaker Thems. Sarah Johnson's photographs have been displayed in New York's Guggenheim. Ruth Moody is a Juno-winning artist and a member of the Whalen Jennies. After 100 years, Calvin High School maintains its excellent reputation for academics, sports, and the arts.